everyone, my name is Justin, and most of you probably know me better by my Twitter handle, Justin Lambchop on Twitter, always tweeting during uh, figure skating competitions, and I'm here to make a blog video on my opinions on the first major figure skating competition of the season, 2015 Skate America in Milwaukee. I don't know about you all, but I'm so glad that the figure skating season has finally begun. Figure skating uh, season officially begins for me when Skate America happens, uh, although this summer it was fun following all of the Senior B competitions, but I'm ready to get serious with all you fellow figure skating fans. I'm really excited. First, before I start my video, I did want to give a few shout outs to some of my friends. The first one goes out to Kanishka. Uh, hey Kanishka! Kanishka is a really smart, nice, great guy, and he is so knowledgeable about figure skating. He knows tons of factoids and statistics from figure skating from way back. If you have a history question with figure skating, Kanishka's the guy to help you out. And my second shout out goes out to Megan Dale. Hey Megan, who was actually there at Skate America Live this weekend in Milwaukee. I'm so jealous, but it looked like you had such a great time, and I'm so, so happy you got to meet Madison Chalk, so she's awesome. All right, so let's get started on my video. I will first discuss the men's event because I thought that was really exciting. Congratulations to USA skater Max Aaron, former US champion, for winning his first ever Grand Prix event here at Skate America. He did such an amazing job. For the first time in so long, I think he skated two clean programs, short and long. And that's not something I've come to expect from Max because he has had trouble over the past few seasons putting together um, the clean programs back to back. And that's actually uh, held him back from getting great results in the past because he's a technical skater, but he lacks the artistic slash component marks. So he has to rely on the technical, and if that goes away, he gets lost in the standings and out of medal contentions in his Grand Prix events. But that was not the issue this weekend. Um, short program, I thought was really good. I really liked it. Um, he landed, I think, for the first time in a long while in competition, a quad toe, triple toe. And most of you probably know that he generally doubles the toe at uh, the combination. So that was great to see him successfully land that combination. And he ended up in first place just about tenth of a point, something really close like that over Han Yan of China. And then in the free skate, free skate to um, Black Swan, I saw a totally different Max Aaron. Uh, he's been working with Philip Mills, um, uh, um, well-known choreographer in the figure skating world. And how do I put it this way? He did not turn Max into an artistic skater, but he made Max more artistic on the ice. And I think that's what Max needs right now. He needs to go through this phase of transitioning um, his basic skating leading up to the Olympics in two years. Um, totally great look on the ice. Landed two quads, no under rotations. And I'd say the biggest improvement I've seen from Max is um, his flow outside of his jumps. Those landings are held so much longer than they used to be, and it looks really nice. Sure, they could be stretched a little more, but like I said before, Max is not an artistic skater, probably never will be, so I'm not going to nitpick on that little element. But that's the biggest improvement I've seen from Max so far this season. I am so happy for him with this gold medal. I'm just in shock. I knew he would end up on the podium, but wasn't sure about winning the actual event. Um, so great for him. Let's see if he can make it to the Grand Prix final. Uh, what do you all think his chances are? I think, I think he has a pretty good shot. He would have to get third at his next uh, Grand Prix, or maybe even fourth, depend on, depending on how everyone else does, but it's, I think he has a really good shot. Now on to the silver medal winner at Skate America. Japanese skater Shoma Uno was amazing. Even though most people expected him to win this competition, myself included, it actually was not a bad showing for him. So he lost the competition due to his short program. He was in fourth place because he had a, um, uh, a bad attempt at the uh, quadruple jump. Now... Even though he was fourth, he was able to come back with a really strong free skate. I 
will not hesitate to say that I think he was the best male skater at the competition. The most artistic, uh, the best skating skills, the most beautiful to watch. He practically stole the show. And rightfully so, because he got a standing ovation at the end of his program, and he actually won the free skate portion of the competition over Max Aaron, and just barely missed out on winning by a few points. But I don't know what else to say. He's just so beautiful. Technically, he has it. So I thought it was a fluke mistake in the short program when he fell on the quad. His long program was on point. Same thing as I mentioned with Max Aaron. I love how Shoma holds the landings on his jumps. He gets really down on his knees. Granted, I think he looks better when he holds the landings than Max Aaron does. Just so artistic. I love the short program. I love how upbeat it gets. And transitions are amazing in the long program, especially um, he understands music and he connects to it. And um, he really connects with his choreography as well. So he's not just skating to the music, but he like understands it. That I can tell. It's so amazing. And gosh, what else to say about him? He's great. I actually think even though he won the silver medal here, that he probably has a better shot at making the Grand Prix final than Max Aaron, my personal opinion. But I think, yeah, Shoma is my favorite Japanese male skater this season, I think. Um, you know, I had a strong showing at Japan Open a few weeks ago, and then here at Skate America as well, he's putting himself in uh, good standings leading up to Worlds this year, and potentially for the Olympics coming up soon. Is there anything else to mention about him? Um, love his costumes. Music is beautiful. I also love that in the long program, he uses his face. I love it when people um, really express themselves on the ice with their facial expressions and his um, expressions get much stronger in the second half of his long program. It's so awesome to see. I'm just drawn to him. I really hope to see him skate live someday and I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to take my eyes off of his face while he skates. So definitely a great job. Excuse me. Now, moving on to the winner of the bronze medal, Jason Brown, fellow U.S. skater, who most people also thought would either win or uh, place second, but maybe a surprising third medal for third place finish for some people. Um, what really kept him back in the short program because he was eighth, <coughs> excuse me again, is because he missed his combination. Now, that is a big deal because Jason... Brown does not have a quad in the short program, so al already there is a points deficit uh, between him and the other male skaters, especially when they skate clean. Um, but he singled his triple, intended triple toe on his triple flip, triple toe combination, so that really killed him in the short program. Thankfully, for the long program, he was able to capitalize on a lot of errors made by other skaters and move up to be third overall. Now, with the short program, I'm actually not a big fan of it. I understand that it's fun and connecting with the audience and playing with the audience. Um, I'm not into really that kind of like hokey, playful style on the ice. It seems a bit too, um, I don't know how to say this, like a uh, exhibition pro amateur type to me. I am, however, a big fan of his long program. I love the choreography, the... Um, his lines are extended. I love his outfit. I like all the transitions, the skating skills, the general gliding. I, I do see improvement in Jason's artistry. Not that he needed to improve all that much anyways. Um, he was fourth at Worlds last year, so he's definitely doing some things right, you know, aside from leaving out the quad. Um, so yeah, really good for Jason. Did struggle still in the free skate, so things aren't perfect, you know, having trouble with the axle, um, falling on his quad attempt. You know, at this point, I'm wondering, does he even need to attempt the quad in the free skate if it's not um, consistent in practice yet? You know, hopefully um, he and his coach, Corey Aid, are working on a good plan to have a technique on when to add in the quad. Um, also suffered from so, some under rotations. Um, he had an under rotation, I think, on the flip and the lutz and even had a fall on one of those as well. So definitely there's some improvements to be made, but as most of you probably know, Jason tends to peak later on in the season. But this competition was a great preview of uh, Max versus Jason, the two American men, uh, and kind of a good preview of the U.S. Nationals to come up. Will Jason be able to defend his title? 
I'm not sure, but right now it seems like Max is really hungry to succeed. And he, I think I saw the fire in Max's eyes. And for the first time, um, he seems like he loves skating. Sorry to go back to Max, but Jason, it's not over because Jason could definitely improve greatly over the course of the next few months leading to nationals as well. What do you think Jason's chances uh, are of making the final with the third place finish here? Hmm, I'm going to hold off on commenting on that, but that's something to think about. And then uh, let's discuss the fourth place finisher at the men's event, uh, Han Yan from China. And he was actually second place after the short program by like a point behind Max Aaron. Um, he, out, he had a step out of his triple-triple combination um, because otherwise he would have been first because his... Um, program component marks are higher than Max Aaron's. Really struggled in the long program. I actually like Han. Um, I actually like both of his programs, short and long. Long I really loved. I thought it was clean and more of a classical style for Han. He just had too many technical errors, otherwise he totally could have been on the podium. Uh, popping jumps, you know, stepping out of, you know, the jumps, all of those little, like, errors decrease the amount of points and all the points that are taken off on the grade of executions add up to be a big deal in the end. So note to everybody, grade of executions count. Like, don't make your landing sloppy. So otherwise, um, I think I think Han should improve in his next um, Grand Prix. His long program, I think, when skated cleanly, it is going to be amazing. So I'm looking forward to seeing him skate his uh, long program perfect with all the technical elements done well sometime this season. I'm looking forward to that so much. All right, so let's discuss my favorite discipline of all, the ladies, and the gold medal winner went to reigning world junior champion from Russia, Evgenia, Med Evgenia Medvedina. That is so hard for me to say. Evgenia Medvedina. And she is someone who I think her fellow Russian skaters should be scared of. She has the it factor. Um, she kind of, her vibe reminds me a little bit of Elena Radionova because when you look at Elena, she's so happy and perky and enthusiastic. But I'd say Evgenia is way more refined and her technical abilities are much better more solid she has a solid more solid techniques on her jumps than elena radionova does and i will say i think this is going to be a great season for her obviously she won her first ever grand prix event on the senior circuit but i believe she will actually become what everyone was expecting julia lipnitskaya to become i just I just see in her, she reminds me of an early Sasha Cohen. Hopefully she doesn't have um, issues with consistency on her jumps. But yeah, in the short program, skated very clean. I will say I do not like that she waited until the second half of her short program to perform all of her jumps just to receive the 10% bonus. I wasn't a fan of that. I am also not a big fan of doing the hand over the arms. Um, over more than one jump in the short program. Like, two is a little too much for me to see. But uh, she did end up leading over Gracie Gold and Satoko Miyahara by five points. Really high score for her. I believe her score was just, uh, just above a 70 in the short program, which is amazing for a senior Grand Prix debut. Now, in the short program, she or in the long program, she actually lost to Gracie Gold uh, by just a few points. Uh, she gave it away by falling on a double axle. But everything else was really strong. She is going to be a top contender this season, all season long. I think everyone except for Malasada should be afraid of her. Um, even, ooh, Russian Nationals. She could be Russian National Champion. And we'll see how Elizaveta Tuktamisheva is going to perform this season. Um, so far in the previews, we've gotten her senior Bs in Japan Open. It doesn't look like she's in uh, top form right now, as she was most of last season. But yeah, Evgenia, I think she's beautiful, nice technical skater. Um, I think the judges love her. Uh, her... <laughs> Component marks are extremely high for Skate America being her senior Grand Prix debut. But 
whatever. She is a great skater, I can acknowledge that, and I do think that she did deserve to win the gold medal here. Now, who almost won the gold medal and who many people thought should have with a home court advantage was silver, silver medal winner Gracie Gold from USA. It's, it's hard thinking of Gracie because um, she has all the talent in the world. Um, packaging is also really good, good programs. Um, the judges love her. They like really want to give her a medal in every competition because her program component marks are propped up so much. But she's the kind of skater, as you all know, that can never really put two clean programs together. And Japan Open a few weeks ago it was a big worrisome for most of us as she did not do well. So I was nervous for a repeat of Japan Open here at Skate America, but that actually was not the case. It was so nice to see that she was able to skate relatively clean eh, in both programs. So she made a mistake in the short program. She doubled her intended triple flip. And with the new rule this season, so the short program, you know, you need one combination, uh, triple triple or at least a double, and then you need a solo triple jump. If you double your solo triple jump or single it, you get zero points, zero points, because it's an invalidated element. So Gracie doubled her intended triple flip and that was ah uh, so heartbreaking, but she was still in good standings as she was in second place. But in the free program, that's where everything came together. I love her short program as well, but I actually really like her Firebird. It's my favorite long program from her to date. I think the choreography by um, Lori Nichol is good. I don't want to see Gracie Gold being a princess. I did not like Phantom of the Opera last season. I do think this Firebird, the music cut, is really good because it builds at the end. It's more climatic. And... Um, which is very different from last year's Phantom of the Opera. It works. This is the kind of Gracie I want to see. She hit almost every jump that she planned, except she doubled her intended triple sound cow at the very end. If she would have gotten that triple sound cow, she most likely definitely, most likely would have won the gold medal here. So there's still some things for her to improve on, but you could tell that Gracie was happy and same with Frank Carroll. So I'm happy for her. Um, a silver medal is not something to sneeze at. She did a really good job here, putting herself in in a good position to potentially make the Grand Prix final in December. Um, but yeah, when Gracie's on, she's really on. Her triple Lutz, triple toe in the short and long, man, positive grades of execution from the judges across the board and she is capable of doing a clean triple flip as she did in the long program that's the one she missed in the short so i i was worried for gracie before skate america now that skate america has happened and she won her silver medal i'm actually calm calmer now because i'm not sure if most of you know i'm very much so team usa i want our all of our u.s skaters to do really well on the international scene in all disciplines so this is definitely a good step in the right direction for Gracie. Um, it'd be interesting to see how um, Ashley Wagner does uh, next week at Skate Canada to see how those two compare lead to each other leading into nationals. Now moving on to our bronze medal finisher, skater from Japan, reigning world silver medalist Satoka Miyahara. Surprise, surprising results here for some people, myself included. I actually thought she would win. <laughs> um, she's known for being really consistent, um, nice tight jumps in the air, even though she tends to have issues with under rotation calls. But um, yeah, I thought that she would have worked over the summer to fix those issues, but they crept up again in her short program, which I, I liked how she skated. Um, she got hit when under rotation calls, so she was in third place, barely behind Gracie Gold, but her overall packaging is a lot better. She doesn't look like a small junior skater anymore. She looks like a senior woman on the ice. Um, her long program, exact same way as well. I love her dress. It, you know, makes her look very like regal on the ice. You know, she's hitting a lot of these elements, but she got hit with some under rotations, and then she also fell. So I'm not sure if some nerves got to her, or if it was something else. Maybe just like early season jitters. But what's important is that to note is that she fell on her jump kind of early in the program and finished her free skate really strongly. So that shows a lot of her character. She's definitely a fighter. 
I definitely expect a strong season from her this year. However, I don't think her issue with under rotations is resolved yet, so she's going to have to go back home and work a little harder on that because she's too good of a skater to be letting that get to her at this point of her career because she can definitely go on and do great big things. She's such a little skater. She's so cute, but um, she needs to skate big, and I think her jumps need to be that way as well, and that'll have an effect on probably her program component marks as well. So... Um, definitely expect great things from Sotoko in the near future. Okay, so let's discuss the pairs event now. The gold medal winners went to my favorite pairs team internationally, Sui and Han from China. I always love their programs. Um, they're it's funny, they're short people, but they have such big elements that I think it's so exciting to see on the ice. And they were actually second place after the short program barely behind Alexa and Chris because one of their spins was invalidated because his foot ended up touching the ice during the element. So note to all competitive figure skaters out there, spins are important. Some may even um, acknowledge that spins may be just as, be as important as the jumps are because spins are also part of the technical marks with the jumps and the step sequence. So, um, that happened in the short program, but I was not worried for them. I knew that they were going to come back strong in the long, which they definitely did. They performed their big element, the quadruple twist, and that's so amazing to see. She rotates so fast, and he throws her up so high. Ugh, I get chills every time I see like a quad twist. And all their technical elements were right on, except for the side-by-side -side triple sow cows, which he fell on, um, which was weird because I usually not, I'm not used to seeing that from them, but they still won, um, mainly because Alexa and Chris made errors, but I think if Alexa and Chris were pretty clean, Sui and Han still would have won because their artistic marks are uh, much greater than Alexa's and Chris. Um, I really like their Samson and Delilah long program. I think it suits well with their style, um, it's interesting, yeah, they're two small skaters, but I'm not sure, like, they don't get drowned in the music. They have a way of making their presence known. It's almost like they skate big out to the audience. And, gosh, even their throw jumps are huge, and I love how she, like, holds her landings as well. So good, positive GOEs for all elements across the boards from all judges. Um... I want to see them make the final, and I want to see them win Worlds this year. They are my favorite team. Boom. Uh, now moving on to the silver medal winners, my favorite American team, Alexa and Chris. Congratulations to them on winning, winning their first ever Grand Prix medal. They must be so proud of themselves. And a silver nonetheless, so great job for them. They were leading after the short program, surprising to many people over the Russians and the Chinese, uh, because I'd say mainly because of their like ec artistic expression. Their short program is kind of like to darker, different music to Metallica, and Alexa was giving face, face so much. I actually really liked it, and it, the judges seemed to respond to it really well. They earned really high artistic marks, and um, the only minor issue they had was on their side-by-side Saukals. As always, Chris put his hands down, but they were able to be in first uh, thanks to the um, spin mistake from Sui and Han. Um, I'd say that was their highlight of the competition was the short program. Because a free program, they actually ended up fourth in the segment. Um, thankfully, still good enough to um, win the silver medal. So I love their short program. I'm not the biggest fan of their free skate. And it's hard for me to say that because I love them as skaters and I love them as people. They had quite a few errors on their technical elements, you know, falling on the side-by-side -side jumps. Um, you know, it just wasn't smooth. Um, maybe the program will get better when they skate it clean. I'd have to wait to see that and see how it is. But I'm, I'm not a big fan of, a fan of the long program. 
I do hope that they make the Grand Prix final. I think that'd be a really good experience for them to skate with the top contenders in the world. And that will hopefully like help them build their confidence going into nationals and going into worlds. Because I have this hope that sometime in the near future that worlds, the U.S. will have three spots for the pairs in worlds. And I think... We're getting closer and closer as the seasons go by to achieving that goal. You know, Alexa and Chris seem to be really strong this season, and hopefully at the next Grand Prix they can skate cleanly in both the short and long. And then we'll see um, um, which other American teams step up to the plate as well. And let's move on to the bronze medal winners, who are actually my favorite Canadian pairs team. It's uh, Julian Seguin and Charlie Bilodeau. Uh, they pretty much dominated the junior pair circuit last season, winning everything, including the Grand Prix final, but coming in seconds um, at the World Junior Championships. However, they did place in the top 10 in the Senior World Championships as well. So they're just amazing people. They gel really well together. Um, as most people mentioned, they liked how um, Charlie looks at Julian right in her eyes. And it's actually... It's kind of, like, cute to see. I really like it. They gel well together. They connect together. I, All their elements look very smooth. And they're actually very polished skaters, but they just need to be polished even more. I feel bad for saying that because they are polished. But um, pretty much this is an amazing outing for their um, senior Grand Prix debut. I mean, that doesn't happen a lot to junior teams coming up, junior pairs coming up. So really good. I I love both their programs. I, I love their outfits. I think they look cute. I want to pinch them. Um, Julian, when she lands her throw jumps, she fights for the landings. Like, ooh, her legs are extended and they look really great. The lifts are amazing. Their final lift in the free program is stellar. I had chills when I saw that. Oh, I just can't, I can't wait to see this team grow and improve over the season. And I personally kind of want them to win this silver medal at their Canadian National Championships. I think, yeah, I, I think they could do it. They could be silver behind Megan and Eric. Um, I, I, I really like them a lot. And I'm so glad that Julian is focusing on pairs and no longer trying to do singles at the same time. So there we have it, everyone. That was my opinion on Skate America. I apologize for leaving out dance. I'm not sure if many of you know, but I don't really follow dance that much. And I'm trying to get better at it, but I was actually um, short on time this week and I couldn't follow all of the skating events live. So maybe next week at Skate Canada, I'll be able to... Um, watch the dance and give some of my very amateur opinions on that. But anyways, I just want to say thank you guys for watching my videos, for um, engaging with me on Twitter and Facebook and all the social media. I'm so glad the figure skating season has begun and it wouldn't be anything without all of you fellow fans to share it with. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.